Well, let's just let's give you an example. Um, one which really intrigues me was um, it, it occurred in the Second World War in Papua New Guinea, the, um, the eastern half of uh, the island of New Guinea. And there was an Australian soldier going uh, along a, a famous track called the Kokoda Track, um, which goes over many, many, um, a great distance across the Owen Stanley mountain range. And he felt a call of nature needed, so he stepped off the path into some undergrowth and noticed straight away that there was a tree in front of him and a lot of undergrowth on the other side were absolutely covered with a thick white cobweb. Uh, very, very thick, not just like the flimsy kind you normally um, see. And casting his eyes about, he suddenly looked ahead and there in front of him, less than a foot away from his face, was this gigantic black spider. And I mean gigantic in terms of, he described that the, the body alone was the size of a small puppy. And the black a spider... A small looked, puppy? Oh, my. Yeah, yeah a, pu- a puppy size. And that was just the body. That wasn't the, the legs and the head. That was just the body. Um, he said the legs actually weren't that long. Sometimes you get, you know, small-bodied, disproportionately long-legged spiders. This was tended to be the other way, that... The legs were broad, but not particularly long. It was the body that was so huge. And the spider gazed at him, and he gazed at the spider and decided very um, cautiously to step back very slowly, very um, carefully back onto the track, and all calls of nature, long forgotten, and made his way uh, and didn't come back that way. And also during the same period, um, during the Second World War, in Papua New Guinea again, an American soldier, uh, this time close to the capital of, Papua New Guinea, Port Moresby, um, encountered um, another, even larger, that he, he said it was about three to four feet across, and it had a bright, unusually for spiders, but not unknown, it had a, a bright emerald green uh, body and wasn't hairy. Most spiders are famously or infamously hairy, but this one wasn't. And again, he, he bid a hasty retreat uh, upon seeing it. So, you know, they're two quite different spiders, but both you know, unusually, exceptionally large in Papua New Guinea. Uh, Let me just, I want to make sure that that we have the connection uh, correct here, Uh, and I didn't mishear what you said. Did you say three or four feet across? Yeah. Suddenly, you know, it doesn't matter whether it's hairy or not. That's just (laughs) one big spider. Oh, yeah. Uh, And, and, uh... What is it about Papua New Guinea? Uh, you know, as a cryptozoologist, you've no doubt heard, uh, you know, the, the, the legend of the Ropen, uh, these, oh, these yep. uh, the pterosaurs or pterodactyls that supposedly... Uh, one of the first people to actually um, make, make that news public back in the late 1990s when that news of that came my way. So, yeah, I know the Ropen. There you go. Well. What is it about Papua New Guinea? It, uh, <laughs> it must be a cryptozoologist's, uh, you know, a dream to, to, to go well, there. It, it's the second largest island, not not counting Australia, which is an island continent. It's the second largest island in the world. Only Greenland is larger. And it's 70% or more covered by uh, virgin rainforest, m- much of which has never been explored, even today. So you, if you're going to find an unusual thing in Papua New Guinea, or the whole of New Guinea, Papua New Guinea is just the eastern half, the western half, is Indonesia, New Guinea. You know, those are the, the areas where you are going to find things. And things are turning up. Um, only a few years ago, a very large black and white uh, tree kangaroo that had never been seen by science at all was found in the, uh, the western Indonesian half of New Guinea. That was a completely new species. Uh, a, a new species of giant rat the size of a, of a cat or small dog was found again only a few years ago. Um, in, in that same area. So, you know, things that are quite large and quite unusual are still turning up fairly regularly in, in New Guinea. So giant spiders, in terms of being a novelty, uh, are not really that novel uh, in New Guinea because there are so many other things turning up.